Hello and welcome to Jujuax and this is How did the Soviets react to the moon landings by the channel History Matters. Yep. <coughs> moon landing is one of my favorite topics. I love science and especially anything related to space, astronomy, astrophysics and obviously moon landing is one of the top of those things when I was a kid. This is basically what, you know, hooked me up with all the, you know, science and scientific interest. But yeah, Soviet basically probably they just probably thought, "Hmm, they stole our thing." That's it. Russians came up with the Soviet Russians basically come up with the rocket formula. Russians send the first rocket into space, first human in space, first monkey, first dog, uh, first uh, you know uh, what was that? I mean, lots of first basically, right? And uh, obviously, USA basically then went to the moon and yeah, they won. I mean, obviously that is significant, right? Just going to space is like you know walking in your neighborhood, and going to the moon is like going to the separate country. It's different. right moon is really far away compared to just going to space just going just doing the orbit so yeah it's kind of a significant moon thing but yeah russian did lots of first things i guess but obviously around this time i guess soviet union was facing a lot of unrest here and there right so i don't know if they really uh, cared about that or they had many issues in their home that they didn't much care i don't know but it's going to be interesting to see what their real reaction was Remember we'll flag Merickson look for nice subscribe so I know which type of videos to react to more uh, check out the Rick Sunday there's a link in the description uh, this playlist with history too I guess with historical videos and yeah let's watch it When we think about the moon landings it's often seen through the lens of an American victory in the space race what isn't often discussed <laughs> is how the USSR America oh, Look at that Sputnik right Yuri Gagarin <laughs> monkey dog the rocket formula but yeah we went to the moon we win <laughs> Ah suck it <laughs> because <laughs> rival reacted to the landings was its government upset about not being the first to the moon or were they excited about such a major event in human history the space race was a well race to space between no one opposed to us but I'm pretty sure scientists would have been yeah the later thing that he said they would have been just like, as you know just like oh this was so fucking great right because that's what scientists basically think they really don't care about who did it who not is a scientific advancement happens they're just happy about it because they know that eventually the information the all the uh, technology and advancement will basically spread around to the world and it's just everybody's going to get better USSR and the USA during the 1960s well sort of it was more about creating delivery vehicles for nuclear weapons to destroy yeah. each other but there was some sciencing in the meantime the USSR was initially missile, in the lead me. having put an object in orbit and then being the first to put a man into space in the end though it was the Americans who got there first with Neil Armstrong being the first man to walk on the moon <laughs> incidentally the Soviet lunar program was conducting an unmanned mission at the time the astronauts were on the moon which failed and crashed into the surface so after this how did the Soviets react Did they try to suppress it or claim that it didn't happen? Nope. First of all, footage of the landings was shown on Soviet television, but frankly not many Soviet citizens owned a television and thus it wasn't something many could watch. It was quickly reported afterwards in the national media, although it wasn't front page news, but simply listed as a run of the mill story. One thing the Soviets didn't speak of was the failure of their lunar lander. They waited until the timing was a bit less embarrassing. Furthermore, the Soviet government congratulated the Americans on their success and spoke of a future joint mission to the moon. This was mostly just friendly overtures, by the way. Both the USSR and the USA were becoming increasingly frustrated by the costs of their space programs conveniently the ussr also changed its mind on its own moon pro yeah okay obviously i should have seen that coming yeah the news probably didn't spread as much as it would have done today right today we will say that there are aliens here and there and, uh, and the people sometimes make argument like really in this age where you can find any fucking clip of anything in the entire world right you can't find it. so it's uh, that wasn't the case around that time so yeah i can see how the information was probably suppressed throughout the entire soviet union right but <laughs> oh yeah so i forgot that uh, for the first missile that they sent in the space soviet sputnik was actually hollowed out uh, you know intercontinental ballistic missile that was more like military flexing than the space thing that's why usa freaked out actually like holy shit they just there's missile the sputnik just went over our head, you know our head basically so they can literally bomb us anytime they want so they kind of panic and that's why they basically announced the apollo program right everybody thinks that it was just to you know explore space yeah no it's not, it's just military in the end it's just military if you find anything that advanced really fast and achieved something probably because of the fear of defense right that that usually drives everything So yeah but as soon as you know uh US went to the moon and just so we just everything just died out then after that whole industry of space died out 
because there, there was no mission to land on Mars, there was no mission for anything, all the budgets got cut down of NASA and everything, because this was more of a defense flexing than anything. Soviet Union collapsed and that's it. But yeah. Program And it declared that such landings were dangerous and self-indulgent. In terms of leadership, it's hard to know how any of them felt on a personal level, since you know, secretive communist state. It's also pretty easy to imagine that cosmonaut Alexei Leonov would have been pretty disappointed. Why? Because he had been selected by Soviet leadership to be the first man on the moon had the Soviets got there first. Another person of influence in the USSR who was known to be furious was the former first secretary Nikita Khrushchev. The Soviet yeah. space program was his doing and for him not being the first to the moon demonstrated that the Soviet Union was losing its way. So what about the Soviet people and the broader communist bloc? Many simply didn't hear much about it or weren't too fussed about America's scientific endeavours. There were some who were upset with the USSR seeming to lose to the Americans, but barring that, the response to it was exceptionally muted. It was only really the scientists who'd worked for the USSR's own space programme that had any sort of publicly positive response to it. And across the broader Warsaw Pact? Well, frankly, the event didn't receive much coverage there either. The primary reason being that many of its governments were, at the time, commemorating 20 years of communist rule. So, in conclusion, as many of you would expect, the Soviet response to the moon landings was mixed and not very public. The leadership had wanted to get to the moon first, but had failed to do so. And given the timing of their own failed mission, they felt little need to make too much fuss about it. The USSR, along with its puppet states, were focused on the 20th anniversary of communism in Eastern Europe, which overshadowed the American achievement. For what it's worth, despite the USSR's lack of enthusiasm, they did congratulate the Americans. And frankly, their response was a lot more positive than the American one to Sputnik had been. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching with extra thanks to my Patreon support. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a good point. I guess it's something similar to, uh, well, you know, how China did, right? I mean, China banned uh, the tall sc mega skyscrapers, right? Why? Even though uh, out of uh, 20 big skyscrapers of the world, 10 of them are in chi China, but because of the recent events, right? The safety issues and even the fucking skyscraper was literally, you know, bobbing like that. Right recently, I guess they just decided to you know ban anything above 600 meters or something like that, right? Because it's uh, it's really hard to do around and it's not really, you know, you can't really explain it in terms of communism, right? Because you, you can say anything about communism, but their core mentality is like you know how do you how do you explain this good for the people, right? It doesn't matter if they practice that or not, right? Their core is always going to be that's what communism going to be like. So obviously at the time, like, okay, they went to the moon, yeah, right, for good, you know, good for you, and they scrapped everything after that. They did try to go to Venus, I guess, right? Uh, one aerial, whatever that was, ship, right? They basically went and crashed because obviously it did. Venus' atmosphere is really dense. But yeah. But basically this was some military flexing in the end. And the US is like, okay, look at that, we can flex from the moon. And there you go. Alright, well, that was how did the Soviets react to the moon landings by the channel History Matters. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down if you want to react to a specific video. And yeah, I'll see you next time.